Greetings and salutations, you guys. Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How is everyone doing today? Hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm here today with a haul slash like a uh, upcoming items for sale in a live video. I sourced all these items um, this past weekend, and I think also like uh, a week ago as well, like maybe within the past two weeks. Just recently, I, th I don't know if I included all these vi these items in a video yet, so I'm just gonna I'm putting I'm lumping them all together. But I got some really great stuff, and uh, stay tuned for what I found because I found some really really good stuff from Hermes to uh, Monster Gabriel, Coach Balenciaga, Gentle Monsters, and all that fun stuff. So if you guys like these sorts of videos and you love um, great deals on some great designer items. Give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for the rest of the video. Um, also, I do post videos every single day, Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. I do live sales here on YouTube, and um, I would love your support. Welcome to the Thrift Squad, and let's jump into all the stuff that I have. So, let me start off with a banger. This one is really, really cool. I thrifted... A couple of these before in the past, but this is a vintage Hermes hat. It's in this really pretty, like, rusty red color. It's lived in. It has, I think it even has, like, paint on it. There's, like, some paint right here on the sides. It has the little Hermes H's, and then the brim has, like, this leather piece that goes all the way around, but it's such a cool color. It's, it has uh, the silver Hermes buttons right here on the back. And it has a linen interior. And then there's the little Hermes tag right there. It's a size 59. Um, it doesn't really fit. I feel like it doesn't really fit me. Like, I can only kind of wear it like this. It doesn't fit, like, the other way. It's. I think it's, like, a little small for me. But I, I have, like, an extra large cranium. So, generally, hats don't fit me unless they're, like, the biggest size. But... It's really cool finding an Hermes hat, and this one is, like, it looks cool. It's, like, vintage. It's lived in. Like, it's awesome. It already has almost, like, a hat patina, if that makes sense. You know, like, cool, like, ha like older hats that, like, lived in, like, look lived in just look better in general? Like, that's what this hat looks like. I feel like if it was pristine and new, it wouldn't be as cute, right? So, that's our first item, our Hermes hat. Very excited about that one. Then, I have, this is a coach wristlet, but this is in the monogram rainbow coated canvas. This one is in, like, brand new condition. It still also has the original tags and care card inside. I love this collection. I've actually uh, recently gotten a bunch of pieces from this collection. I got the backpack. I got the wallet. I have... I think I actually still have the wallet and I just misplaced it. I think I still, I, I, the wallet might still be available. So I have like a little, I have a billfold wallet and I got the backpack. I think I had the, I had like the crossbody bag as well. But this is so fun, so cute. Coach Rainbow Monogram Wristlet. Then up next, while staying in the Coach family, I have another crossbody Coach right here. This one is in a beautiful yellow. It kind of looks like a mango color. It has gunmetal hardware, hang tag intact, crossbody strap, adjustable and removable turn lock. This one is also in like new condition. This will also fit the largest iPhone inside. Uh, also, I apologize in advance if you hear any screaming. You probably already have. My nephews are playing video games upstairs with our cousin, and they're just going crazy. She just got here a few hours ago, and they're having a blast already, so... Yes, but this is a really beautiful sunshine yellow bag. Perfect for spring, summer. All year, really, honestly. I love a bright yellow bag. I think it looks good with so many things, and it's always a fun pop of color. And it just makes... It's one of those colors that just makes you happy when you see it. It's just so vibrant. It's my favorite color, so... I love it. Up next, oh, this one was a cool find. Uh, this one is a, it's a Madewell bag that's in collaboration with a brand called, what is it? Oh, it's um, Daryl K. 
Um, we teamed up with the Ireland-born, New York City-based designer on a capsule collection that channels the iconic downtown style that has been known for since 1991 when she opened her first shop in Manhattan's East Village. Hashtag Madewell X Daryl K. So, so, so cool. This bag retailed for $350. I love it. It's really cool. It's like a shoulder bag. It's a structured, smooth leather. I love the finish on here. It's like aged. It's stunning. I love like it's like an oiled leather, right? There's two pockets um, that are open. So one up top, one down below. And then there's also this zipper right here. And then this just sits really nicely on your shoulder. And it's just really, really cute. It's a beautiful bag. Here's the interior. There's a zipper two open pockets, it has a little, um, not a snap, but it has like a button kind of closure up top. And it's just a really beautiful structured shoulder bag. I love it. I feel like this is like a very timeless bag too, but it kind of makes it a little bit more modern um, with the like three pockets on the front, especially that like diagonal zipper pocket. I think that's really cool. All right, next up, I have a Kate Spade. This one is an extra large tote bag. This was also in brand new condition. It still has the tag attached on the, um, right here on the back. This retailed for like 500 bucks, but it is a beautiful extra large leather tote bag. It's in a black pebbled leather. I love that it has the smaller top handles and then it has this long shoulder straps in the straps the longer ones are fabric it's in a black and white it kind of makes it look sporty it's kind of um like makes it more like modern as well but i feel like it's also like a very classic style this also does zip all the way across which is fantastic this is a large tote bag so being able to zip it closed is always great and it's about the size of a Neverfull GM. Um, inside is super clean, like I said. It's brand new condition. And black leather with, uh, just, just has the gold hardware right here on the front. And this one is really cool. I like it. Right? Isn't that just a beautiful bag? This is perfect for like every day because it's not very heavy, but you can still fit everything that you need. It's perfect for a work bag, school bag, travel bag, a uh, weekender overnight. It's a great, great size and is beautiful. Up next. Oh, you know what? Let me do uh, some of these sunglasses. So I have two sunglasses. Now this one, I don't remember if I showed you guys yet. So I'm showing you guys again just in case I haven't. But this is a pair of Gentle Monster sunglasses. They are aviators and they are really, really cool. They are gold and I love uh, up at the top or of the frames, they have like this purple and like cream, I don't even know what to call it, it's like a plastic. And then you also see it right here on the end of the temples. These sunglasses are so pretty, the, the lenses too are like a purpley gray color so that it matches the sunglasses. They're just a little small for me. They're definitely not fitting my giant head, but these would look good on so many people. I love that these have a nose piece. They kind of look like the Club Masters from Ray-Ban and they are just, Gorgeous. Sorry, I just have my fingerprints all over, but it's a beautiful pair of sunglasses, and yeah, they're a really great shape, too. I just wish I had the original case. Unfortunately, I do not. Okay, next up, I have... Now, this one is a really cool pair of sunglasses. I actually just got another pair of these sunglasses just um, a week ago or two from the same collection, but these are some Balenciaga sunglasses. They come with a case, which is awesome, and then here they are. They are kind of like a cat eye. I I really, really like the, these. The finish on the frames are really cool, too. Like, it has, like, this, um... It has, like, a distressed style to the frames, right? You have the Balenciaga logo on the sides. They're a really good size. Nice and large. These are really cool. I love, I love them a lot, actually. So, I don't know. If these don't sell, I might just end up keeping them. But I'm trying to limit myself to having only 100 pairs of sunglasses. Because I have so many. <laughs> I don't really have 100 pairs, I promise. I'm like looking at this giant pile of stuff. <laughs> but they're awesome. I really like the style of these. The other pair that I got, they're the same collection. But they had like a different shape. They were taller. Um, those, like when I smiled, they hit my cheeks. So they would like move. These are like perfect. So I really like them. That's... 
Do you guys think I should... Uh, no. Hadrian should sell these. So if anyone... Again, if anyone is interested in any, any, any of these items as well, please send me an email. It's, it's hadrian at gmail.com. It's linked down below in the description box. These will also be available in the next live sale. But if you're interested in anything, send me an email and I can let you know pricing and availability. Um, so yeah. Send me an email if you're interested. Okay, next up... This one's a good one. This is a vintage coach uh, bucket bag. This is like the large size. The leather on this is so scrumptious. This is made in the US, I believe. Vintage, uh, I, I think it's the Legacy. It has the original hang tag still too, cross body strap. I usually leave these how I find them so you can see that there is some discoloration. That's probably just from rubbing and dryness. I know a lot of you guys out there that watch my videos do love to rehab your own vintage coach bags. So you like to do the dunk method or you clean them with saddle soap then you condition them up and make them look beautiful. The black vintage coach bags are the easiest and most satisfying to fix up because they always look good afterwards. And this one is in great shape, like the leather itself wonderful condition it just needs a good conditioning the inside is super duper clean there's oh it also does have the chunky zipper which is so nice and the leather on this is so soft it is, it's like butter this vintage leather the coach leather is amazing you guys already know um we have one interior pocket right there it's just open it's unlined inside it's suede and the crossbody strap is adjustable, so you can make this shorter if you wanted. I love it long as crossbody. I think it's beautiful. This size, too, is so, so good. You can really fill this one up as well. And you can... I, these bags look so cute with, like, charms and stuff on them. And I know this one would look so good, too. And yeah, look at that leather. Oh, it's so good. Honestly, love that. Okay. Just a couple more things left. Next one. This is a Zadig and Voltaire. I believe this is called the Twin... Satchel? It's the twin something. And what's cool about this bag is that it's double-sided. So one side you have the suede leather right there. You see the little the hardware. It's beautiful with the crystals inside. The other side is the same except it is a black pebbled leather. So it's the same exact style on each side but one side is suede, one side is leather, like a regular leather. It's literally two bags connected. You can see where they separate right there. In the very middle, there's a zipper compartment. And then each one opens up like this. And it has a magnetic snap compartment. And then they zip open in the top. And then there's another compartment. So this bag has a gazillion compartments. The only drawback is that it is a little bit on the heavier side. But it is, it's stunning. Um, and it is essentially two bags put together so it's like carrying two bags and the Dagen Voltaire just uses really really nice leathers so their leathers generally are already pretty heavy because they usually use a nice thick leather cross body strap removable and adjustable even this little top handle right here is removable it has a little lobster claw you can take these off and it's just a stunning bag I love that you can choose either side so you can do just the regular leather or you can do the black suede silver hardware Bag is in great shape. There's minimal color loss on the silver hardware. A little bit of like this coppery color is coming through or like a brassy color from underneath. But I feel like when the hardware kind of loses some of its color on these bags, I feel like it looks really cool with the Zedig and Voltaire ones just because they kind of have like a biker chic kind of vibe to them. And that kind of like patina with the hardware looks cool. So yeah, but it looks really, really good. I love it. So there's that. Okay, then last but not least, this is one of my favorites. This is a Monsoor Gavriel lady bag. It's like the Monsoor Gavriel version of like the Hermes Kelly, you know? It's really, really cool. It's made of that beautiful, smooth, black, like box leather that Monsoor Gavriel uses. We got the longer top handle. Not necessarily long enough to carry on your shoulder unless you have a really small arm, but perfect for the hands or in your crook of your arm. But it does have the long strap. So this long strap is removable and adjustable so you can wear this as a shoulder bag as a crossbody bag it's awesome the black leather is so smooth and supple and gorgeous when you pop it open you have this beautiful bright red interior ah stunning there's just one interior pocket inside of there and yeah you have the drawstring right there and it is isn't this just such a gorgeous bag the lady Monsoor Gabrielle 
that's stunning and that is actually going to close out today's video that is it i hope you guys had fun checking out what i got don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy these videos tune in tomorrow 7 a.m for a new video Again, email me if you're interested in anything. It's hatering at gmail.com. It's down below. And join me at one of the live sales. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right, bye, guys.